That green light will depend on what happens in today's FDA meeting, where the vaccine trial data will be picked apart and debated. President of the Center of, for Science and Public Interest, former Associate Commissioner of the FDA, Dr. Peter Lurie, with us now with more. Doctor, thank you so much for the time in advance. Now, this hearing was scheduled weeks ago. What have the experts on the panel been looking at during that time, leading up to today? So the FDA has released a whole set of documents that describe in quite excruciating detail all of the design aspects of the trial, uh, safety signals that they might have noticed, and whether or not the product is effective. So no doubt the advisory committee members who are outside experts advising the FDA will have poured over these in detail uh, and be ready to discuss them this afternoon. Okay, so if the FDA gives Pfizer the go-ahead to roll out vaccine, what are the next steps? Well, the, once the, uh, the well, first they, you get a recommendation from the advisory committee. Then the FDA has to decide whether or not to go along with it, which uh, I would expect they would because they usually do. Um, at that point, it's up to Pfizer. Um, it, they seem to have the trucks ready to roll, um, and I think uh, all of us are expecting that they will jump on it very quickly and get the product out as fast as possible. And as far as keeping it cold. How optimistic are you that it can be distributed in a manner that keeps it intact? Well, no question that's a major challenge, uh, but uh, I'm sure that the FDA has paid uh, a lot of attention to that question, so have Pfizer. So I think at least in this country, I think that's probably a problem that we can solve. Um, the problem would be if we wanted to uh, move the vaccine into areas that were less well equipped. And Moderna, another company that is seeking emergency use authorization, how far along is Moderna in the process? Well, Moderna is about a week behind, so uh, you know we're expecting a, a meeting next week, which will have the same general approach and format. Um, I haven't seen the data the way that they've so far been released for Pfizer, uh, but assuming that the vaccine looks as good as the Pfizer one does, we would expect you know a favorable vote from the advisory committee next week, uh, and then the process would begin again, except for Moderna. Dr. Peter Lurie, thank you so much for the time. We appreciate it. And lending us your expertise. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.